Hey guys, what's going on? Honest Abe checking in here on Tuesday. Uh, terrific Tuesday out to you guys. Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, well, today we're bringing you guys episode two from Jen. Uh, the good, the insane, and the negative. And so I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, whatever. I'll get back to you guys or like the video. I appreciate you guys always watching my videos. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off with the negative. And, you know, like I've said before, I try to stay away from the political and stuff on this. But uh, this is just something that I have noticed over the past couple weeks. And it is revolving uh, the shooting down in Florida. Um, and just, and this comes in on the negative right off the bat, the negative. Um, the, one of the things that I've noticed over the past two weeks is that a lot of people and a lot of stations and a lot of media, they are focusing on one, the shooter, Nicholas Cruz, uh, gun control, uh, or the, uh, the, the school uh, resource officer, the police officer that was assigned to the school and all the drama that's going on around that. And so, you know, even to the point where the president's gotten involved and condemned, you know, the resource officer and a lot, a lot of politics and a lot of uh, stuff. And I, I'm not going to dive into that. You know, that can be a topic for another day, you know, gun control and all this kind of stuff. But the reason why I have this on the negative is that you know, we're putting all the focus on all these other issues and we are not focusing on the victims. We, I mean, it's two and a half weeks and we have forgotten already that 17 people died uh, down in Marjorie Douglas High School uh, in Parkland, Florida. And I mean, we've, we've forgotten that. And, you know, Alyssa um, Alde, Aldehef, I'll probably mispronounce some of these names, uh, Martin uh, Aguanio, Scott uh, Beagle, Douglas uh, DeWart, Aaron Feiss, uh, Jamie Gutenberg, uh, Chris Hickson, uh, Luke Hoyer, uh, Kara uh, Loran, uh, Gina Montalato, uh, Joaquin Oliver, Elena Petty, uh, Meadow uh, Bullock, Helena Ramsey, Alex uh, Shachacher, I'm sorry about that for mispronouncing names, uh, Carmen uh, Shentrup and Peter Wang. I mean, these are 17 people, students, teachers that lost their lives in, um, in, in this school shooting. And we are focusing more on the shooter, on gun control and this resource officer than we are on reaching out and, you know, putting out our thoughts and prayers to the students and the families from the high school. Um, and, and that's why I bring this in on the negative. I mean, the reason why, you know, one of the reasons why, and I'm just going to dive into this real quick, these shootings keep on happening is because these are the things that we focus on. We focus on the shooter and everything he did, you know, whatever, to get as many people killed or whatnot, or why he did it, and we dive into all that, or we dive into every time the political of gun control and everything uh, and then you know and then we try to find somebody to attack and blame and so now it's the school resource officer um and so we focus on all these things and we don't focus on the people that it really had affected this community is just traumatized by it and you you, you gotta remember that these are 17 families that are burying loved ones um and, and we don't we don't talk about that. We haven't talked about that in two weeks. I mean, the last time I heard something to being talked about it was on the 21st of February. So that's almost two weeks ago um, about any of the victims and stuff like that, really on any you know major news channel. And so that's why I put that in the negative. And I think definitely if we want to see some change out of that, we need to focus on you know on the victims on their families and, and making making that, that transition for them a lot better because it's it's a very difficult time for them we need to love on them uh you know show them our prayers and our support uh during this tough time in their life so that comes in on the negative i'm done with that whole political thing we're going to move on okay uh i'm going to come at you guys with the good uh, today uh, with next for the second one and the good is uh, these Hobby Lobby uh, photo uh, shoots of this photo challenge I think this is hysterical this is great 
Oh my gosh, finally we can put the little Tide Pod thing to rest, hopefully. Uh, but, you know, I think this is so creative. This is so much fun. You know, people are using decorations and stuff in aisles and basically taking selfies and challenging their friends to top their their photo uh, their photo op uh, at, in Hobby Lobby. And, you know, I think this is great. This is good. This is all good and fun. You know, nobody's getting hurt. Uh, there's nothing really, there's no negative about this. You know, I mean, as long as, you know, you put the stuff back where it belongs, you know, you don't break anything, you're careful. Um, I, I don't see a problem with this. I think this is this is great. And, and you know, some of these videos and pictures are, are hysterical and, and very, very creative. So uh, you guys keep that up. And uh, I definitely, definitely enjoy the Hobby Lobby photo challenge uh, going on right now so that comes in on the good uh and last but not least uh bringing it all uh, home is the insane uh and i'm gonna bring this home to tennessee um the insane is that the tennessee men's basketball team are co-sec champs and that is crazy um uh, that's just that's insane uh, this team was picked number 13th um, to finish number 13 uh, out of 14 teams in the SEC this season. The team that they're sharing the SEC title with, Auburn, was also picked to finish next to last as well. So the two teams that won the SEC this year finished number, tied for number one, and I think that is awesome. But Tennessee, uh, they just dominated this year. And we're heading into the SEC tournament kickoff uh, tomorrow, and I cannot wait to see what happens uh, with these Tennessee Volunteers, of course they don't play till Friday, uh, but uh, you know what? They had a heck of a season. I am so proud of uh, of uh, Coach Rick Barnes, Grant Williams, Schofield, uh, Jordan Bone. I mean, all these guys. Uh, I mean, they just they played their butts off this season, and I mean, it paid off. It really did. And we got we got the SEC awards announced today. Uh, Grant Williams, he got SEC Player of the Year. You know, I talked to Catfish uh, the other day about this, and I told him, uh, I said, you know, Grant Williams deserves to be SEC Player of the Year. There's no doubt about it. When when he's not in the game um, for Tennessee, Tennessee just struggles completely. And I mean, Tennessee is a completely different team when Grant Williams is in. He also got uh, first team All SEC, so congratulations to Grant Williams, and then our other big man Schofield, uh, Admiral Schofield. Man, he had a heck of a game the other night uh, against Georgia. He got second team All SEC, uh, but you know these two big men they've been playing lights out the past couple games, and they need to stick with it and keep it up as we head into the SEC tournament and March Madness, and man, you know what? Tennessee's going to be making a deep run. We might come out SEC title champs uh, from the tournament. Who knows? I mean, the, the sky's really the limit for this team at this point if they keep playing the way that they do. And without, you know, without a doubt, Coach Rick Barnes got SEC Coach of the Year. He beat out our one of our former coaches, Bruce Pearl, at Auburn, Auburn. Uh, but and both of these coaches obviously were well deserving of it this year with where their teams were picked at the beginning of the season to finish, and they basically finished tied for for first place in the SEC, which is incredible. But Coach Rick Barnes, he had these guys playing like crazy this year, and man, I just I, I would love to get some behind the scenes footage on on his talks with the team and everything like that. I think it would be great. Uh, but uh, this is definitely a well deserved uh, SEC championship. Uh, for Tennessee, something that Tennessee fans really, really needed, uh, you know, with everything that's been going on around here over the past couple of years and football and basketball and all this uh, and other athletic stuff and athletic directors and all the all the Yahoo stuff that's been going on around here in Tennessee. So congratulations to our Tennessee Vols men's basketball team. Uh, man, what a great year. I cannot wait to watch uh, the games here coming up this weekend. Uh, but that's basically Jen, uh, for, for today. That's episode two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, always feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to always get back to everybody and don't forget to like, and subscribe. And I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. So this is honest Dave signing off. We'll catch you guys later.